Hey, happy Monday, friends. Hey, good morning. Good morning to you, Jill. Good morning to you, Ryan. Did you have a good weekend? It was such a great weekend. Nice. Nice and relaxing for oh, once. We yeah, love for, a relaxing weekend. For once. I'm still working on that. <laughs> it's the you one know? time out of the year that the weekend gets to be relaxing. <laughs> I'm working on that. I'm working yeah. on not working on the weekend, which yeah. we can't say the same for you in a good way. Right, yeah. I, I was weekend. on stage uh, at Feinstein's with my friends on Five Gettable. We had them on the show last week. Yes. And then uh, Lauren and I had a performance at Prime 47 on Saturday. So kind of busy. And then Sunday was mostly chill, some family time in good. there. Yeah. I'm glad. Yeah, feeling uh, semi-rested. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're getting there. Semi-rested. Semi. Sem there were pockets of rest. <laughs> not totally. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, you were telling me before the show that you you have recently been uh, <laughs> just captivated by the story of an orca whale named Lolita. What's this all about? I can't about? believe we're talking about this. I can. <laughs> well, so I need more information, truly, okay. before we went on the air. This is this is fresh for me. Okay. But this story has apparently been ongoing. Lolita, this orca whale that is, I'm trying to figure out if she's been set free. She was or in not. Miami. She was in Miami. This orca is like 57 years old. Held captive for she's old. That time, yeah. yeah. And those whales can live to be up to 80 years old. I did not know that. Apparently. Apparently. <laughs> and there's a lot of people involved in this. So we just we had this whole discussion this morning because that's the first question everybody asks is, yeah. are they going to be okay being released out in the right. wild? Yeah. And then you started pretending to be whales and how you thought maybe they would respond right. to Lolita. The, the wild orcas, are they going to welcome her like with open arms, open fins, or are they going to kind of be a little hesitant and maybe bully her? Like that wouldn't be nice, right? <laughs> Like, like what? Well, that's like where my mind goes. Her. Yeah. They're like, you're yeah. a house cat. You don't get it. Yeah. You know? like, yeah. Where's you the bucket understand. of fish now? Yeah. Where's your human? It's you know? terrible. Or are they like, hey, let's go They're like, eat some seals. The Come past on. is in the past. Come on. I I don't know. The thing is, I'm captivated by it, so I need to do more research. Uh, I was flabbergasted when I first learned about it. Anyway, uh, we always like to start things off on, on a good, good note. Yeah, we do. <laughs> We appreciate you guys bearing with us in the new studio here, too. We're on a temp set right now while we get a little makeover next door. Mm -hmm. But get this, we're partnering with our friends from Live Nation. And we are giving away two VIP lounge experience tickets to Sam Hunt's concert this nice. Friday, July 28th at Ruoff Music Center. Here's what it includes. Right, you want to read this off? Yeah, so here we go. Appetizers, cash bar, drink ticket, DJ playing all of <laughs> Sam Hunt's top hits, a photo booth, VIP exclusive Sam Hunt gift item, tour poster, <laughs> official VIP lounge laminate, a photo opportunity in front of the VIP backdrop to nice. commemorate your night, tour merch shopping before the doors open, a dedicated VIP entrance, an on-site VIP team, and a partridge in a pear tree. Oh my goodness, what a giveaway. Got it all in. Now the only thing this probably doesn't include is the chance to actually meet Sam Hunt. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. basically everything outside of that is included <laughs> in this prize pack. So again, this concert is Friday, July 28th at Ruff Music Center. Your chance to win, just email us. In now giveaway at fox59.com put sam hunt in the subject line yeah and we're choosing a winner after tomorrow's show so we're giving people a chance to enter we know yeah. this is a really good one mm -hmm. It's going to be a good, good show. Yeah, yeah, good luck with that. Hey, we love a good date night idea. Mm -hmm. And our first guests are here to tell us about some really fun couples classes that you can attend. They're going on at 16 Tech off Indiana That's Avenue right. downtown. We have Avery Hiddle from 16 Tech and Paul Williams. He's the workshop manager at the Machine Makerspace there. Hi, hey, Avery. Hi, Paul. Hey. How are you guys doing? Great to have Great you guys, guys here. Loving this display. Yeah. So Paul, can you tell us a little bit more about what the machine offers in these date night classes? Yeah, so we have two classes in the calendar that we call our kind of social date night classes. One is for individuals. It's the process <laughs> of creating some, taking some rough lumber into making a beer flight board. Okay. And we partner with Guggman House on it. So after you make the board, uh, we go through a beer tasting of their beer. And we've also got a charcuterie board class, which is for couples. Um, and we go through the same process, except instead of making a beer flight board, you make a charcuterie board. And then with Chef Craig Baker of the AMP, we go through the process of learning how to plate as well. That's really fun. And that Goodman House, friend of the show. Oh, we love that. Great local it's so beer fun spot. to have them on. Yes, it's perfect. So Avery, what about 16 Tech and your involvement and why people should visit? Yeah, well, 16 Tech is a 50-acre um, innovation district. So it's intentionally resourced with facilities and programs, much like Machine. Um, that, fosters you know innovation and entrepreneurship in Indy so not only can you create 
magic government machine, but we also have the AMP, it's a food hall. Um, almost all of our vendors, or all of them, are locally, you know, from Indy. So we've got the food hall, we've got machine, um, lots of magic happening at yeah. 16 Tech. So. Yeah, That's amazing. fun. We've been so many of the, the vendors there at 16 yeah. Tech have been on our show as well. Yeah. Paul, how long does it take to go from this rough lumber to a beautiful beer flight board. So like that. for about five people in each class, it yeah. takes about uh, you know two hours to go through that process. With okay. the beer flight tasting, of course, yeah, you know someone could probably do it in ten minutes um, if you're used to the equipment. But okay, most people are complete beginners, so yeah. it takes a while. Right. Yeah. I'm assuming this is not a beginner project. <laughs> this looks very next this level. This looks like you might need some practice. Yeah, take some time. That's not on our CNC <laughs> router. That's really cool. That is amazing. Can you walk us through some of these other things you brought? Yeah, so we brought some examples of you know 3D printing, um, some you know plasma cutting that you can do. Um, so in our welding class, we actually weld those together to make a little lantern. Wow! Look um, at that. This is an example that was water jack cut. So we have a water jack cutter at machine, so it could cut up to an inch thick. So we just wanted to bring uh, some examples here. That's this impressive. one here. Wait, so how does this cut this? So it uses high pressure water and abrasive to cut through materials. Is that not terrifying? Oh my goodness! In the words I mean, of Ron Burgundy, <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> um, that's really cool. That's fascinating. This was cut with water. That's wow. That's yeah, really that's cool. Funny. What a way to kind of learn something new and do something and try something different. Yeah, and even like, you know, he has the social classes, but also if you just want to come learn the machines, yeah. you can do that too. So every month he has those classes where you can just learn the equipment as well. So. Okay. How long have you been into woodworking, metallurgy, all that stuff? So I have uh, I have my degree in furniture design and sculpture from Heron School of Art and Design. Okay. But I've been woodworking since I was little with my grandfather. Yeah, nice. Oh, that's amazing. For anybody who might be hesitant, maybe they heard this and they said, whoa, that seems advanced. What would you tell them <laughs> if they're trying this maybe for the first time? So a lot of it, you know, we have the classes for a reason is to learn how to use it. So, you know, our, my job is to demystify how you know, challenging it is. Uh -huh. I, it's, if you, uh, you know, have an idea, you can bring it to life, and uh, it's just first thing to do is just start. It's nice. It's it's really neat to see the three D printing too. That next yeah. generation of sculpture and all that. I feel like we need to test out how well the beer flight board actually works with like oh, the yeah. beer in it. I think we. Do. I feel like we should. Could we? Could we yeah, just yeah. Yeah. just kind of test the craftsmanship? Just to, you know, quality control. Yeah. I, I think that's so. You have to. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. since you brought it nice here, right? Brew. We love yeah featuring Goodwin Haas on the show as well. We love them as well. Great local spot, amazing local atmosphere there. there. you go. There Thank you. Sure. And then you know oh, after so after you make it and you drink, you can go over to the amp and grab some food. Yeah, yeah. let's let's talk about some of the the restaurants and, and oh, yeah. vendors that people can check out there. Thank you, Paul. Yeah, we just sure. got a couple new ones. We have um, Vix Barbecue just got there, so we've got barbecue, we've got poke, we've got. You know, salad, sandwiches, whatever you want. Yeah. We've got it. <laughs> Fun spot to check out yeah. in the city. Yeah, well, if you would like more information about these classes or just everything that you can do in that area, we've had the website and social handles popping up on the screen. And thank you so much for telling us about this. People are always looking for something different to do. Yeah. Like, I want to try a class. I want to do something. This would be a perfect option. Absolutely. Yeah, thank you, guys. Paul, thanks so much. Yeah, thank you, guys. It. Thank you. Coming up next, our friend Mike Stone is in the house to help us celebrate National Tequila Day in style and teach us a little bit about how it's made. That's right. Plus, local foodie Jolene Ketzenberger is telling us all about the new restaurants opening up in the local dining scene. Hi, Jolene. We'll be right back. There she is.